Venues usually work alone, but the CEO of the Paps Theater Group hopes that by binding together with each other, they might be able to save themselves from going under. The Paps Theater Group operates the Riverside Theater, the Paps Theater, and Turner Hall, as well as some of the smaller venues around Milwaukee. They've had to cancel a number of performances because of the pandemic and could very well be uh, some of the last businesses to reopen in our area. As a result, they have taken a huge financial hit that could put their future in jeopardy. Gary Witt is CEO of the Paps Theater Group and a founding member of the National Independent Venue Association. The group has members from across the country and they have partnered up with Aiken Gump, a prominent lobbying firm. We're in a real life or death situation right now. What's your hope with partnering with a lobbying group? Uh, do you think that's gonna get you extra pull in Washington to get funding during this time? So our goal right now is to be able to uh, add our voice. I mean, I think I think our politicians want to hear from groups all around the country because they need to know the reality of what it means when the country closes as it is. And they need to be able to hear from businesses like ours. Well, this is the first time that independent venues have come together. The National Independent Venue Association recently formed and it already has 450 members in 43 states. Coordinators are sharing information about the Paycheck Protection Program and other resources, Eden, to help them survive during this pandemic. Just another way that the coronavirus is impacting so many different places here so in, our, in our city. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Sheldon.